Welcome to our journey through history as we unveil the life of Winston Churchill, a man whose legacy is etched in the annals of time. From the depths of adversity to the pinnacles of power, Churchill's life was nothing short of a monumental saga. All about the life of Winston Churchill was one of the great architects of the Allied victory in the Second World War as British Prime Minister. Although in the First World War, when he was First Lord Admiralty, he suffered a serious setback in Gallipoli in Turkey, Atamana, that almost ended his political career. He was a member of the House of Commons for several decades and was extinguished by his speeches that raised British morale in difficult times. And he had time to write his memoirs and other history books that earned him the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1953. He also had his dark side with his views on the different types of races. How did Churchill come about? What were his great political and wartime actions? What did he do to achieve victory in World War II? How were his last years and his death? In this video, we will make a tour through the life of this character, pointed out by some surveys as the most influential of the 20th century. His writing was as much an exhibition of his daring exploits as it was a testament to his exceptional storytelling prowess. But the battlefield and the newsroom were merely stepping stones to a grander stage. Entering the world of politics, Churchill faced a new kind of battle. His initial political journey was far from smooth. Before we go into depth, please activate the notifications to keep up to date with our content. How did Churchill navigate through the tumultuous times of the world wars? This is a question that has intrigued historians and enthusiasts alike. Winston Churchill's role in the World Wars was indeed a defining aspect of his life and career. Our story begins during the First World War. Churchill was serving as the First Lord of the Admiralty and was instrumental in orchestrating the Gallipoli campaign. However, the campaign turned out to be a disastrous military failure. The loss of thousands of lives cast a heavy shadow over Churchill's career leading to his resignation from the Admiralty. This setback, however, did not deter the indomitable spirit of Churchill. Instead, it stoked the flames of resilience within him. Between the two world wars, Churchill found himself in a political wilderness. Despite the setback, he continued to voice his concerns about the rising tide of Nazi Germany. His warnings, however, fell on deaf ears. It was a time of political isolation for Churchill, but he remained undeterred continuing to stand firm in his convictions. As the clouds of the Second World War loomed, Churchill's warnings started to take on a prophetic tone. In 1940, he ascended to the role of Prime Minister, just as Britain found itself in its darkest hour. Churchill's leadership during this time was instrumental in rallying the British people and leading them through the tumult of war. His speeches, laden with determination and defiance, stirred the nation and provided much-needed morale. Churchill's strategic decisions during the Second World War also played a crucial role in turning the tide of the war. From the decision to continue fighting when defeat seemed imminent, to forging alliances with the United States and the Soviet Union, Churchill demonstrated remarkable strategic acumen. His leadership played a pivotal role in the eventual victory of the Allies. His famous quote, we shall fight on the beaches, we shall fight on the landing grounds, we shall fight in the fields and in the streets, we shall fight in the hills, we shall never surrender, encapsulates his indomitable spirit and unwavering resolve during this critical period of history. Through the crucible of the world wars, Churchill emerged as a leader of remarkable resilience and strategic acumen. His role during these wars not only defined his political career, but also left an indelible mark on world history. From the ashes of defeat in the First World War to the triumph in the Second, Churchill's journey is a testament to the power of resilience, strategic thinking, and unwavering determination. What did Churchill accomplish after the end of World War II? After the echoes of the last bombs had faded, the world was a changed place, and so too was Winston Churchill. His role didn't end with the last shot fired, Instead, he pivoted towards shaping a new world from the ashes of the old one. In the aftermath of World War II, Churchill became instrumental in navigating the treacherous landscape of post-war Europe. He was an architect of the New World Order, helping to draw the lines of power that would define the latter half of the 20th century. 
But it was his Iron Curtain speech in 1946 that truly demonstrated his foresight. With this speech, Churchill painted a vivid picture of the ideological divide that would come to define the Cold War. His words, from Stettin in the Baltic to Trieste in the Adriatic, an Iron Curtain has descended across the continent, have been etched into our collective memory, forever reminding us of the divisions that once tore us apart. Churchill was not only a political leader, but also a man of letters. His eloquent speeches and insightful memoirs earned him the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1953. Yes, you heard it right, a Nobel Prize in Literature. He was recognized for his mastery of historical and biographical description, as well as for brilliant oratory in defending exalted human values. In his final years in politics, during the height of the Cold War, Churchill returned to power as Prime Minister. His enduring goal was the maintenance of peace. He advocated for détente and consistently worked to lessen the tensions between the superpowers. Despite the changing times, Churchill remained a figure of stability and resilience. He continued to influence the world, not just through his actions, but also through his words. His speeches have stood the test of time, still resonating with us today and reminding us of the importance of courage, perseverance, and leadership. Even after the war, Churchill continued to shape the world through his words and actions. His post-war years were far from a quiet retirement. Instead, they were a testament to a man who refused to be silenced, who continued to fight for his beliefs, and who left an indelible mark on history. Who was Winston Churchill beyond his public persona, you may wonder? Well, let's pull back the curtain and delve into the private life of this remarkable man. Winston Churchill was more than just a political figure, he was a devoted family man. Married to Clementine Hosier in 1908, their bond was a strong one, weathering the storms of political life and the strains of war. Together, they had five children, each of whom held a special place in Churchill's heart. His affectionate letters to them provide a glimpse into his softer side, a stark contrast to his stern public image. Beyond family, Churchill had a profound love for painting, it was a passion he discovered during his wilderness years in the 1920s, when he was out of office. For Churchill, painting was not just a hobby, it was a refuge, a way to escape the stresses of political life. It was, in his words, a joy ride in a paint box. From landscapes to seascapes, Churchill's works were vibrant and full of life, reflecting his own indomitable spirit. And then, there were his oratory skills and writing career. Churchill was a master of the spoken and written word. His speeches, filled with determination and defiance, stirred a nation during its darkest hours. But he was also a prolific writer. His works ranged from historical accounts to biographies and even a novel. His writing earned him the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1953, a testament to his literary prowess. Churchill's daily routines and habits, too, were quite fascinating. He was known for his unconventional schedule. He would start his day late, work through the afternoon, take a nap in the evening, and then continue working into the early hours of the morning. He had a fondness for cigars and champagne, and was rarely seen without his signature bow tie and hat. But perhaps the most distinctive part of Churchill's routine was his habit of taking a daily walk. Regardless of the weather or his workload, Churchill made time for this ritual. It was during these walks that he did some of his best thinking, often coming up with strategies and solutions to the problems at hand. Churchill's life wasn't all politics and war. He was also a devoted family man, a passionate painter, and a gifted writer. His personal life, hobbies, and habits all add layers to the complex character that was Winston Churchill. They remind us that behind every great leader is a person, with passions and routines, with loved ones and pursuits outside of their public roles. And in Churchill's case, these elements of his private life only serve to enhance our understanding of the man behind the legend. What are some of the controversies and criticisms associated with Winston Churchill? For all his fame and glory, Winston Churchill was not a man without his fair share of controversies. One of the major criticisms directed at him has to do with his views on race and the British Empire. Seen through the lens of our modern understanding of racial equality, Churchill's views can be seen as deeply problematic. 
He was a staunch believer in the superiority of the Anglo-Saxon race and was unapologetic about his belief in the righteousness of the British Empire. His policies and attitudes towards the indigenous populations of the colonies often reflected these views, leading to widespread suffering and hardship. Churchill's handling of the Bengal famine of 1943 is a case in point. It's widely believed that his indifference and refusal to divert resources led to the death of up to three million people. His infamous statement, questioning why Gandhi hadn't died yet if there was a famine, further highlights his callous attitude. On the home front, Churchill's political decisions and statements were not always met with approval. His decision to return Britain to the gold standard in 1925, his opposition to granting India independence, and his initial reluctance to support women's suffrage all stirred controversy. His handling of labor strikes and his approach to social welfare also drew criticism. Even his leadership during the Second World War, which is often hailed as his finest hour, was not without its detractors. Some argue that his strategic decisions, such as the bombing of Dresden, were unnecessary and resulted in needless civilian casualties. Furthermore, his relationship with the Soviet Union and his role in shaping the post-war world order has been a subject of debate among historians. His Iron Curtain speech, while prophetic, also escalated tensions and helped cement the onset of the Cold War. Despite his undeniable impact, Churchill's legacy is not without its controversies and criticisms. These aspects of his life remind us that even the most revered figures in history are not without their flaws and shortcomings. What is the enduring legacy of Winston Churchill? As we explore the legacy of this remarkable man, we delve into the influence he wielded not only during his lifetime, but also how his actions continue to shape the world today, long after his departure. When we talk about Churchill's influence on the 20th century, we're talking about a man who, through his leadership, his words, and his actions, helped to shape the course of global history. His decisions during World War II, his stance against the spread of communism during the Cold War, his vision for a united Europe, all of these have had far-reaching implications that continue to resonate today. His words, both spoken and written, have inspired generations of leaders, thinkers, and ordinary citizens alike. But Churchill's legacy isn't just confined to the realm of politics and war. He was also a prolific writer and an avid artist. His contributions to literature earned him a Nobel Prize, and his paintings provide a fascinating insight into the man behind the leader. In both these realms, he exhibited a depth of thought, a breadth of knowledge, and a passion for life that continues to inspire and intrigue. As we move through the world, we can see the physical manifestations of Churchill's legacy in the form of commemorations and memorials. From the statues that stand tall in London's Parliament Square and Washington, D.C.'s British Embassy, to the institutions named after him, including the Churchill War Rooms and the Churchill College at Cambridge University. Each of these commemorations serves as a testament to his enduring impact on history. But perhaps one of the most fascinating aspects of Churchill's legacy is how he has been portrayed in popular culture. From films and television series to books and plays, Churchill has become a larger-than-life character, sometimes revered, sometimes criticized, but always compelling. These portrayals offer different perspectives on his life and legacy, adding layers of complexity to our understanding of this multifaceted man. Yet Churchill's legacy is not without its controversies. His views on race and empire, his decisions during the Bengal famine, his stance on women's suffrage, all have been subjects of intense debate. These controversies serve as reminders that Churchill, like all individuals, was a product of his time, with his own set of flaws and prejudices. They add a layer of complexity to his legacy, inviting us to engage in thoughtful and nuanced discussions about the past. Winston Churchill's legacy continues to shape the world long after his departure, a testament to his indelible impact on history. From his influence on the 20th century to his commemorations and memorials and his portrayal in popular culture, Churchill's legacy is a rich tapestry of triumphs, controversies, and enduring influence. Indeed, the life and legacy of Winston Churchill continue to captivate, intrigue, and inspire us, reminding us of the indomitable spirit of a man who once declared, we shall never surrender.